three, two, one, let's go. Hey family, what's going on? Your brother Watchman Adam back with a video. I got somebody who wants to say hey to you guys. Chloe the Watchdog. Chloe, say hey. Hey family, I love you. I miss being in videos. My daddy, I love licking his nose. All right, here baby, take Chloe because she's off the chain today. Family, we got an important video today. Today we're going to be looking at something that's going on inside of Israel. But first, if this is your first time to our channel, I do want you to know on this channel, we're watching for the soon return of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Family, that trumpet is about to sound and we're going to be ready to go on this channel. So family, keep your eyes on the sky because our redemption draweth nigh. That trumpet is about to blow. And when it does, Family, you already know. Let's go! Okay, family, the verse of the day is Romans 3.23. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Family, you hear that? For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. That means everybody, family. Okay, family, I pray you're all having a blessed day today. Today, we're going to take a look at this article from Israel Today, and this end time headline reads, Open the gates of the Temple Mount, Rabbis urge Netanyahu. So leading rabbis call on Israel's most religious government ever to finally allow Passover sacrifices at Judaism's holiest site, the Temple Mount in Jerusalem. So, Fifteen prominent rabbis have asked Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to open the gates of the Temple Mount to Jewish religious observance next week. In particular, they want to offer a Passover sacrifice on the Temple Mount when Passover begins next Wednesday evening. Now listen to what the rabbis had to say in the letter. Family, check this out. So check this out, family. This is what it says. We have been blessed by God's grace that the place of the temple is under Jewish control. And to the extent that the state of Israel sees the offering of the Passover sacrifice as a national interest first and foremost as it should be. We want to offer the Passover sacrifice in its rightful place and at its rightful time, despite all the difficulties. The rabbis wrote in a letter addressed to the Prime Minister and his Minister of National Security, Ben Giver. You know, the same Ben Giver who in January ascended to the Temple Mount and the Arabs in the region got really mad and saw that as a violation of the unfair and outdated status quo. Now, the difficulties to which they referred have to do primarily with the expected violent reaction of the Muslim world, which today sees the Temple Mount as Islam's third holiest site. They will see this as a declaration of W.A.R. and have warned the Jews not to dare do this. Now, the rabbis noted that the ruling of Jewish sages throughout the centuries were in favor of offering the Passover sacrifice, even before the third temple is built. Now, every Passover Eve, a group of Temple Mount activists tried to enter the sacred compound in order to offer a Passover sacrifice in accordance with biblical law. But the Israeli police is always prepared and has never allowed this to happen. But family, it's a little bit different this year. Let me tell you why. Ben Giver, the same man who went to the Temple Mount in January and made the Arab world really bad, is now over the Israeli security commissioner, the Israeli police, and all that. And Ben Giver himself in the past has said that he wants to perform the Passover sacrifice himself. So it's very possible that Ben Giver could tell the Israeli police to turn a blind eye and allow the Passover sacrifice to be performed this year. And if that happens, family, the third intifada is right around the corner. Mark my words on that, family. And remember, Passover and Ramadan coincide with each other this year. So if they do the Passover sacrifice during Ramadan, the Arab world will be really mad and it will cause a conflict like the world's never seen before. That could actually lead to the Psalm 83 conflict. Family, keep on looking up because we're going home soon and that's facts. 
Just wait till the two witnesses arrive on the scene. They're not going to care about that status quo. I promise you that. They will be preaching outside the Temple Mount. And family, that's going to cause the whole world to go into an outrage. That's why when the two witnesses are finally taken out, the whole world rejoices and sends each other gifts. Family, it's Bible prophecy, so that means it's going to happen. Now, family, just look around this world we're living in. It is declaring the soon return of Jesus Messiah. Everything, and I mean everything, that Jesus said would be going down prior to his return, we're seeing it all go down in our generation, the fig tree generation, the generation that shall not pass away. And my beautiful channel family, that's why the message of the gospel is so very important in these end times. And as always, let's close this video out by me giving you the gospel of our salvation. Now family, one thing we've seen a lot of in the end times, man's coming along and they're twisting the gospel. And for some reason, they want to add words to it. And family, it just don't work that way. No pun intended at all. So, according to scripture found in our Bible, Jesus was born of a virgin and he lived a sinless, perfect life. He lived his entire life without ever once sinning. That's why he was the perfect sacrifice for the remission of our sin debt. And when Jesus was 30 in the biggest act of love that humanity has ever seen, Jesus was nailed on that cross. He had a crown of thorns shoved upon his head. Jesus was beaten in front of his mother. Jesus spilled his perfect, innocent blood for remission of our sins. My sins, your sins, being giver sins, your great, 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 great grandma sins, your fourth cousin sins, your ninth grade teacher sins, everybody's sins. Family, Jesus did it all on the cross. Then Jesus laid dead for how long, family? For three days, three days, three days. At that third day, he busted that tomb wide open. Hey, family, no tomb could hold our Messiah. Then Jesus ascended to go be with the Father. And on this channel and many other channels, we do know he's coming back for us soon. And family, what is it we're looking for? It's that Titus 2.13 blessed hope. And world events and Bible prophecy is declaring the soon and intimate return of our Messiah, Jesus. Family, you stay in that full armor of God and keep on looking up. Because I promise you, our redemption draweth nigh. Jesus is coming soon. That trumpet is about to blow. And when it does, family, you already know. Let's go Harpazzo! Well, my beautiful channel family, as always, I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and feel free to share it. It helps us out so much and I do appreciate it. And if it's your first time to our channel, smash that subscribe button and join our channel family. Because on this channel, you guys are more than a number. You guys are loved and appreciated and I pray for you guys on a daily basis. I really do. And speaking of prayer, if you have any prayer requests, drop them in the comment section below. And myself and someone from the prayer team, we would be honored to pray over your prayer requests. And also, if you don't have a Bible and you need a free King James Version Bible, email me at emailwatchmanadam at gmail.com. And as soon as we can, we'll get a free Bible out to you. I believe everybody that wants a free copy of God's Word should be able to get a free copy of God's Word. Amen. For the time being, we're only shipping Bibles inside the United States and Canada. We're looking for people to help us that live in other countries to ship Bibles out for us. A lot of the Bibles we have shipped to other countries have been returned for some reason. I think it's an act of the devil. If you live in a, another country and want to help us with the Bible ministry, Email me and let me know. And also, if you feel led to contribute to our outreach program, the Homeless Outreach or the Bible Ministry, check the description box below. There's ways you can do so. 100% of all contributions either go to the Homeless Outreach or to the Bible Ministry. Family, as always, please, please, please pray about it first. And family, tomorrow we're going to be leaving for Knoxville, Tennessee for a four-day outreach trip. This is going to be our biggest trip to date. So please keep us in your prayers. 
We can feel your prayers when we're out there on the streets. Family, we greatly appreciate it. Just please keep us in your prayers while we're out there doing the Lord's work. Thank you so much. Well, till next time, Brother Watchman Adams signing out. I love you guys and keep your eyes on the sky. You know why? Because our redemption draweth nigh. Jesus is coming soon. That trumpet is about to blow. And when it does, family, let's go. See you in my next video, family. Take care. Bye. <laughs>